Hi everyone, it's Shiva here again. It's uh, been a while since I've posted a video about any of my strategies. I wanted to share something with you. Uh, I wasn't able to record this video whilst uh, I was doing the live trade, uh, but I have been busy and um, I, I thought I'd get this video into you guys so you can utilize this for the rest of the week. Now, uh, this setup only happens uh, once a day for this particular currency pair. I use it for the Euro USD. Now, just see if the volume's up. Um, now, what uh, I find happens, it's a particular pattern that happens with the Euro USD. It happens one hour before the open of the Frankfurt market, which is uh, two hours before the London market. This will happen. Now, if you're able to, uh, for me, um, I mean, I'm in Sydney, Australia, so for me, this happens at 3 p.m. Um, every afternoon. Frankfurt opens at 4 p.m. my time. Now, what I do at 3 p.m. is I will turn on my computer and I jump on freestockcharts.com. You can do it on your MT4 as well. I just like um, freestockcharts.com. Uh, it, uh, it allows me to draw in my support resistance lines. Um, it, it just seems easier. Anyway, what I do is this. Um, I jump onto a five-minute chart, and I will watch to see what the behavior of the market has been. Okay. Now, this is today's trade. Uh, this is what I did um, earlier. Um, I, I, walk, I, I turned this on, had a look at what the market was doing. It was generally coming down, and then it went sideways for a while. Now, when this happens, uh, what I will have a quick look at is to see if there is a potential for this to bounce back up and how I would do that is to see if there's any major resistance lines up here somewhere and in this case there wasn't there was a significant fall of the market happened here and then everything just went sideways so if I was to draw in resistance lines like I have here um, these ones here um, at that point in time to suggest that the market is only possibly going to go somewhere up here and then um, head back down again so what I generally do is I will draw in my support and resistance lines and then I will jump onto the one minute chart to have a look at what's going on. Okay, so um, when I, let me see if we can move back slightly. Okay, so this is where I did the trade. Um, here, I entered here. Now this would have been my um, let me draw in the vertical lines. This would have been my three o'clock mark. Okay, uh, this is where I took my entry. And here is where this would have closed off this trade. Okay, now what I see happen yeah, almost every single day, and I trade this strategy at least uh, three to four times a week. Uh, and I'm going to teach you um, three other potentials you can do within this hour. Okay, um, now I normally wait for the market to start climbing after my 3 p.m., which is um, within that hour before Frankfurt open opens um, and you will generally see a gradual climbing. Uh, market might come down for a little while but something will happen where the market will gradually climb for a bit. Now what I have found that sometimes um, after the probably the 10 minute mark uh, market starts to go sideways. Sorry guys. Market starts to go sideways. Thank you Adobe. Um, and this is where I would start to see maybe there's a possibility that this was the high that um, I was waiting for. This is the setup. And so what I did was I would take at any point in time from about uh, 10 minutes past 3 till about um, the 40 minute mark, I will look for an entry there. Now, I would take, in this case, what I did was at 3.12, I took in a put for um for the rest of or well, for 30 minutes roughly um and and you've got to set your expiry at the 45 minute mark okay and i'll explain um 
a little later why. Uh, so again, uh, in short, the strategy is what you're going to find is within that hour before Frankfurt opens, within the first half an hour, um, you will see the market climb gradually. And what you're looking for is the highest point that you can get to. And then you would take a put and which will expire at um, the 45 minute mark. Uh, I have found that pretty much every single time I've done this trade, if I have found a good entry point, this is very nicely in the money. Um, I tend to win every day. Um, the only days that I avoid this strategy is possibly Monday, simply because sometimes there's a correction happening um, or if I miss the entry. Now, what I have noticed is that um, my entry, the possibility of an entry, tends to happen around um, 10, uh, 10 past the hour or uh, and between 20 past the hour. Um, you need to be mindful that sometimes I have seen where the market goes in for a nice spike, uh, possibly at the 39, 38 minute mark or so. But I think you will be comfortably um, in the money if you take a position anywhere between about the 10 past to about the 20, uh, middle of the 20s. Um, and, and in this case, if, if um, you would have taken an entry where I would have taken, um, you would have won very nicely. Um, notice how at about the 15, 16 minute mark, the market did jump up slightly and then it started to head back down. Now, here is around, uh, I believe, somewhere in the 30s. Uh, this possibly would have been an, a secondary entry point. Now, this is where I was talking about earlier. Sometimes um, around the 30 minute mark or just after it, what I find is that there is a slight spike up and you can take an entry there. Um, Issue with this one is that sometimes around the just 42, 43 minute mark, the market may spike up a little bit, okay, um, like it did over here. But this is after the 45 minute mark. Now, um, this is a separate strategy without, which I will talk about um, in a couple of minutes. But this is basically what you're looking for. You're looking for the higher point after um, that um, three o'clock mark has hit, uh, which is three o'clock for me. Um, so you're looking for the high point within the first half an hour in that hour before Frankfurt opens. Enter a put which should be expiring at the 45 minute mark. That's the first strategy. Now, and, and the timing to look for this is possibly between uh, the, the 10 past the hour till um, possibly um, middle of the 20s or so. Um, and, and there's always a potential that you might get an entry in um, the 30s. Okay, so that's the strategy, works amazingly well for me. Now, as I did mention, I'm, I'm going to talk about uh, three other possible strategies. Now, um, the second one, uh, this one was the main one we discussed. Now, the second one, what I've always found is um, going in towards the end of that hour prior to this hour, um, what you will find is maybe the potential of a gradual climb. Um, now, you could wait for the 3 o'clock mark, so the start of the hour, and maybe take a call for the first 15, 20 minutes, or even for the first hour. Now, I have seen this happen, but I personally have not taken these this trade. Uh, I will uh, start to demo them and see how I go, but you could potentially keep an eye on this to see if this is something that um, happens on a regular basis and something you can trade. Uh, the other thing that I found is at the 45 minute mark or around that time, if you see the market kind of slump nicely and there's a, a low, um, certainly draw your resistance and support lines in. Um, if you see, for example, here's a, here's a decent support line here. Now, if I was to draw that in um, here somewhere and then see this line come very close to this one, um, I could do a call here for the rest of the hour. The reason why I say that is that Frankfurt um, will open effectively the London market. Okay, so um, a lot of euros will be purchased and what you will find is, and I see this more often than not, that um, when this market falls here, there's going to be a gradual climbing of the market until the, um, the start of the hour, so this, until the start of Frankfurt. And so you could take a, a, a second or a third trade if you if you look into this one as well uh, within that hour. 
The other thing that I found is if this actually happens, this climbing happens, unless there's some sort of significant news that drives the euro up, what I've always found is that the euro will start to come down again. So after the initial spike, it will come down again in the first 15 minutes of the hour. So what you could always do is when you get uh, um, the start of Frankfurt, uh, maybe wait to see if um, this is still climbing. And then um, if you get a red candle, if you get um, any of your um, candlestick patterns for the market coming back down again, um, what I generally have found, and I've done this trade a few times, I will take another put, which will come down um, for 15 minutes, and that's going to expire uh, 15 minutes past the hour. Okay, so roughly, guys, there's um, one, two, three, uh, four trades that you can do in the space of um, one hour and 15 minutes or so. Um, certainly, look at the market conditions, um, but generally speaking, this is my main one that I do, uh, which is expiring at the 45 minute mark. Um, and sometimes I do do the this one here and then this one. So um, if you do nothing else, then what you find is that this strategy may be um, enough for you. So in the space of one and a half hours or so, you can get uh, three or four very good trades in. Um, again, be mindful of the fact as to what's happening in the market um, prior to the hour if you want to consider doing this one. Um, be also mindful of the fact um, as to what's going on in the news because the euro will behave differently. But the normal pattern that I found is that prior to Frankfurt opening, um, the euro does come down um, from the 30 minute mark to about the 45 minute mark. And it will climb back up again from the 45 minute mark to the, the end of the hour. And then the market generally comes back down again. So Keep an eye on, on, on these three uh, time periods specifically. Uh, this makes me a very nice income. So, um, um, yeah, certainly utilize that. I don't utilize any other indicators here. Uh, it's, it's just this and just support and resistance lines. Okay, and uh, that's it from me. Cheers, guys.